Let's talk about how to say no to sex at any time. No doesn't mean never. No could mean I'm not ready to have sex yet. I'm not really feeling it right now. Could mean I had too much to drink at dinner and I'm actually really sick and I don't wanna tell you because this is new and I'm embarrassed. So whatever it is, learn how to practice saying no. Remember saying no is a right, not a privilege. So if at any time you're feeling uncomfortable, pressured, or just not feeling it, it's okay to say no. It can feel really hard to access your no sometimes, especially when you're experiencing anxiety, right? And part of your executive functioning of your brain starts to shut off, right? So learn how to have sex, but pay attention to the internal cues of your body, which we call introspection. So if you're feeling anxious, your body is probably trying to tell you something. It might not be that a saber-toothed tiger is attacking you, but it could just be that it's warning you this doesn't feel safe or that you're not ready yet. So learn to listen. It's actually very common with people who have high anxiety to experience some type of sexual complaints. So pay attention to that. Do not feel ashamed for your nose. It can come off as hostile and disinterested to a partner, particularly if it's some type of new relationship. But if you're willing to be open and communicate it, communicate, ugh, it, you can dispel some of those discomforts and those myths. If you are already hot and heavy and the clothes are off, it can also feel really uncomfortable to say no. So learn how to practice some discernment, right? And before you get into those situations, have a conversation, particularly about your sexual health, right? So when's the last time you had an STI test? When was your last partner? What types of things do you like? What types of things do you not like? And somebody that is not willing to have a conversation with you about their sexual health, raise your red flag, okay? So honor yourself. We know, right, that rejection hurts no matter where it comes from. So it might be wise to practice some of these scenarios, right? Behavioral rehearsal. So if you're not ready to have sex yet, try something like, hey, I really like you, but I'm not ready to have sex yet. I hope you can respect that, okay? Or, hey, this feels so amazing. I could lay here with you all night. Can we just do that? Or, not tonight, but I do feel super wounded by you and that's hot. Whatever, use your own words, right? Make it your own, but practice. So that moment that you get to that point and you're feeling anxious, right? And your brain starts to shut off, you have something ready to go, okay? Another great point to say no is when you're not aroused. Stop having unwanted sex, okay? So if you're not feeling aroused yet and you're trying to have penile and vaginal sex or if you're trying to do anal play, this is gonna be really uncomfortable. So here's a great opportunity to one, advocate for yourself and two, educate your partner and say, hey, you know what, I'm not there yet or we just need to stop. Think about what makes you feel physically and emotionally safe. What do you need from a partner in these sexual encounters so that you feel like you can move forward? And it might just be a partner saying, hey, what do you need from me, right? That could be enough. Maybe it's not, but consider it before you have sex again is what would make you feel good before, during, and after, and then communicate those things. Saying no really means learning to advocate for yourself and again, to not have sex that you don't want to. So what to do instead? Other options, right? You could draw each other naked. You could just cuddle. You could give each other um, some private lap dances. Whatever it is, right, there are other things to do rather than going straight to sex. So take your time, stop having unwanted sex, and remember that it's your body and your rules.